Come, Nerevar, and prepare for a cataclysmic eruption of uncut truth. I've plumbed the shit-infested depths of Baldur's quicksaving, I mean Baldur's Gate 3, and by the wretched souls of oblivion, what a festering cesspool of mediocrity it is. This game, this insipid excuse for entertainment, is like a bloated, rotting cliff racer carcass in the middle of Vivek City's Grand Canton. You might gawk at its putrid spectacle, mesmerized by the characters, but the stench of disappointment and unrefinedness lingers. Larian Studios knows how to make a sloggy RPG with no QA, and their garbage, unrefined, unresearched wisdom have managed to pull off a colossal heist, convincing the masses that their steaming pile of code is some kind of artistic masterpiece. Oh, they've dangled the bait of beautiful character interactions before our eyes, like a silt strider offering passage to nowhere, but the rest is a wretched quagmire of ineptitude. A clunky mess of RNG that constantly punishes the player. Dialogue. Garbage. For example, who in Azura's name thought it was a brilliant idea to bind the skip dialogue function to the same button as dialogue confirm, good luck skipping talking without saying something bad by accident, utter garbage QA leading to even worse UX. It's like trying to wield Umbra without losing a part of your soul. Load that quick save again. Quest trigger garbage. Quests are half-baked. And certain triggers are misaligned with completing the quest. Some quests you can't even turn in until you've done some arbitrary thing not related to the quest. It's just sad garbage, this is the release product. The fucking map, the map view is a disgrace to cartography, revealing nothing of worth when you're within the bowels of a dungeon, as useful as a blind Kwama forager trying to not eat its own damn eggs. And the battles by Mehrunes Dagon's fiery pits, the garbage battles, they're like facing an army of ash zombies armed only with a rusty dagger. Some encounters are so laughably stacked against you that you'll be forced to retreat, much like a Nechka fleeing from a Kaguti. Medium difficulty. More like a Daedric Prince's sadistic joke. You'd better load that quicksave again. But let's not forget the performance issues. A blight upon the very essence of gaming. Frame rate drops on hardware that should be rendering Nern itself with ease, as if Sheogorath himself is meddling with your GPU. Movement is a mind-numbingly sluggish affair, like traversing the bitter coast on foot while carrying a ton of Dwemer metal. The game looks just as good as any old game, but runs four times as bad. Then the game fucking crashes, and the reliance on dice rolls. The absurdity of it all. It's like relying on a cliff racer's sense of direction to find your way through the Ashlands. Quick saving becomes ritual every minute. A desperate plea to the Nine Divines to spare you from the relentless tyranny of RNG. Oh yes, I love missing most of my swings when I have 80% roll chance. And boy, do we love a constant 60% chance to hit, and D20 rolls needing 15 to 20 requirements for almost all interactions. Very fun loading that fucking quick save again. Such trash, Nerevar. Don't you ever go RNGRTS on me, Nerevar. I will split your face open like a Kwama egg I eat for breakfast. At least in Morrowind, you can level up to avoid the missed swings. And oh my Dagoth, the porn hype. All the dumb, horny people buying it, but you'd find better porn in Morrowind text than what this game offers. And romancing the characters is a waste of time. The same dialogues keep coming up again and again, and they offer no progress. Great game! Just kidding, it's dog shit. And it amounts to nothing. Game reviewers, eager to write articles for ad revenue, barely played the game and are merely merging with the hive mind. Like blindly worshipping the tribunal. Infectious ignorance, I say, all of it. Game reviewers who give this game 10 to 10 need to play more games. They are over-eager to write something that sells ads, so they write about hype. This game is all hype, Nerevar. You get more drama out of a shitty serialized Netflix show. In summary, Baldur's Gate 3 is a grotesque abomination. A Dramora lord of disappointment masquerading as a game. It's an affront to the legacy of great RPGs, like a guar trying to impersonate an Aalit. You get bored to tears just walking from place to place. Amidst the squalor, I find myself yearning for the sweet embrace of Morrowind, a land where true greatness resides and where even a Dagoth damn Enwa can recognize a masterpiece when they see one. So Nerevar, I beseech you, find a good version of this game a generation ago. It's called Dragon Age Origins. Avoid this wretched abomination and return to the glory of something that didn't need a three-year beta just to exist in its paltry form. Frankly, Nerevar... I took a stinky shit and came back to my PC, and I couldn't smell the difference.